there was so much heart in this movie as there was in the first one. And I felt like the, the big takeaway was you don't necessarily have to be a superhero to, to make a difference in the world. Was, was there a point in your life, and I know that you've been very open about your mental health, where you realize, hey, I don't have to be a Hollywood star to, to make a difference. And I, I can love myself for who I am, not necessarily for my title. Yeah. I mean, honestly, that's been my journey the last five, six years. I mean, ever since I really had my breakdown and when, and that really forced me to go to that life-saving therapy, that's when a lot of that stuff started to click. And so this, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm still just a, like a little kid in my, in my mental health journey. I'm five or six years old and what it means to understand how to love myself and value myself outside of whatever I might be able to accomplish in this world. But, but listen, you know, when you start that journey as a 37 year old, at least you have a better, better understanding of certain dynamics. So, you know, I might be six six years in, in in deep into my understanding of it, but I definitely feel like I've grown leaps and bounds in those six years. I feel like I've really, really been able to, you know, every time that stinking thinking starts swirling around in, you know, what literally is the programming of our minds. I mean, it's uh, the neuroplasticity of our minds. When things happen, when traumas happen, it just creates a little circuit and it creates the loop. That's why we find ourselves stuck in those loops. And there are a lot of things that can help with that, a lot of modalities, a lot of therapeutic modalities, and more and more that are coming to terms or coming to surface but the more I work on that the more I catch myself when I start thinking to myself you're worthless or you're not offering anything to the world or whatever I just say no that's not true that is that is my mind that is that is a voice that is not even mine we are not the we, we are not <laughs> what is it we are not the voice of our mind we are the one who hears it and so you have to be very care careful with that and the more i can catch myself on that the more i can remind myself of no i am good exactly as i am i am worthy of the love in my life exactly where i am and who i am regardless of anything that i might be able to bring to anyone else or to this world